Well, hello, Central. It is time for our daily reflections again at Central, and I am privileged to be spending time with you this week. Um, since Mother's Day is this weekend, and it is a celebration of moms everywhere, I think it's appropriate to do a Mother's Day reflection. And as I think of Mother's Day, I think of my own mom and my mother-in-laws, as I was blessed to have two of them. I think of my grandmothers and who they were in my life as they have all passed on. I think of myself as a mom to my sons and to my daughter-in-law, and I wonder what kind of a mom I am, who I have been in the past and who I am currently. I often tease them that we'll never know that answer to the question until they have their final therapy bill someday. <laughs> I think of the many moms that I know and I love and I look up to and I walk through life with, like my sister and my sister-in-law and my closest friends and the many women that I have the privilege to do life with. I think of what defines me as a mom, and for that matter, what defines me as a woman, and what I think should define me. Too often, I, like you, most women, um, we veer to our image when we think of what defines us. We think of our outward image. Um, whose nose do I have? Is it good enough? Um, why, am, why do I have the body image that I have? Is my house good enough? Is the car that I drive good enough? But rather, we should be thinking instead about what defines us as a person. And if someone was to ask me that today, I could say to them, um, well, I am a mom, I am a wife, I am a daughter, I am a worker, an assistant, I am a volunteer, I am what I do, I am what others need me to be, and I am what I accomplish. And while these descriptions may be true, they are also incomplete. They overlook the vital fact that we are made inside and out by God. We are created in his image and for his purpose. When we gaze into the mirror of God's word, we find that God has stamped us as a reflection of his character, his essence, his being. And that is not to say that we are many gods in any sense. But just as children reflect the physical, mental, and personality traits of their parents, we too are fashioned by God's elements, his character in our beings. This morning, as I was reading in my daily devotions, I thought of how cool it was that God expresses his being, and he tells us that we are co-laborers with him, with all of God's people in his world. In Genesis 1, 28 through 31, it reads, then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and govern it. Reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, and all the animals that scurry along the ground. And then God said, Look, I have given you every seed-bearing plant throughout the earth and all of the fruit trees for your food. And I have given every green plant as food for all of the wild animals, the birds in the sky, the small animals that scurry along the ground, everything that has life. And that is what happened. And then God looked over all of it that he had made, and he saw that it was very good. And evening passed, and morning came. I love that he says it was very good. When I read this, I hear that when we live in the fullness of who we are, we show our children, our family, and our world a full and accurate picture of God. When I truly live in that, then my definition of who I am changes. I am unique, being fashioned after the God of the universe, inside and out. And as beautiful as that sounds, if I'm being honest with you, that is not the way that I see myself often. I tend to see the negative. I see who I am not, what I have not accomplished, what I am not doing. And when I do that, the negative definition of myself affects my mood as well as my daily choices, which then in turn affects how I treat others how I treat myself and how I respond to most everything I do. So I need to change my sight to God's view of me. And when I do that, I will then be the mom, the friend, the wife, the daughter, the sister, the coworker, and the volunteer that God calls me to be. So moms, as you approach this Mother's Day, ask yourself, how do you define yourself? When you look in the mirror, who do you see? My prayer for you this week is that you see yourself as God sees you, fruitful, seed-bearing, purposeful, and loved, and knowing that when God sees you, he says, it is good. Happy Mother's Day to all of you. Peace and love from all of us at Central. Bye.